Hello friends, welcome back to the shop and welcome to the start of a new restoration series on this uh, Medico Guardsman pipe that is actually a pipe sent to me by my uh, good friend and our good friend Johnny Ford of Ford Smoking Pipes. Uh, Johnny asked me if I could restore this and it's got some challenges that we'll go over but yeah, I think we can restore it and get it back to Johnny and uh, let him enjoy smoking it. So this is a Medico Guardsman. Um, the nomenclature here simply says that it's Medico Guardsman Imported Briar. Hopefully you'll be able to read some of that. And that's it. Those are the only markings on it other than there is a G stamped in the stem right there. And we'll try to preserve that. Uh, these pipes were manufactured probably in the early 60s. It's hard to date this exactly, but uh, the Guardsman was uh, certainly produced as early as 1962, as you'll see from this ad that I'll insert. Uh, and uh, they fetched a rather kingly price uh, at the time. Uh, these were unique. So Medico, uh, give you a little bit of history. So. Medico is actually a subsidiary of the S.M. Frank company. S.M. Frank uh, goes back to at least 1900 uh, in, in the pipe world and is responsible for a number of uh, pipes. They currently own the K. Woody brand as well as they continue to make uh, Medico. Medico was, was originally launched in the 30s as a um, response to some criticism that was developing over uh, tar and nicotine content of pipe tobacco and the fact and its health issues and Medico was the first company to develop a filter and this was just a rolled paper filter uh, that you're all fairly familiar with the uh, the standard uh, paper six millimeter filters and uh, that was the foundation of the Medico company so all of the Medico pipes have a, a filter uh, or filter chamber now this pipe is damaged and I'll show you the damage. So this is the way the, the, the pipes work. So it is a reverse tenon. Uh, you get an aluminum tenon here and, and the filter will fit in through that. And then the ebonite stem has a mortise in it which will slip over the aluminum tenon. Unfortunately this one is broken. Um, I believe it's not only broken but it's been truncated quite a bit and that's going to be a, a bit of a problem and I'll explain why. Uh, this, the Guardsman, is unique in that it not only has a filter uh, here where you would expect but it has this very interesting uh, carburetor system. So I don't know if you'll be able to catch that and let me see if I can shine some light down in there and maybe I'll get some better pictures of this but there is a perforated metal um, tube at the bottom of the chamber and well it's it, I shouldn't say it's a tube it's probably a, a uh, semicircular uh, piece that, that's serving as a grate at the bottom of the chamber and the reason that's important is on the bottom here there is actually a hole and that hole which uh, looks suspiciously like a roll pin <laughs> is going all the way through to the tobacco chamber and it is protected from being clogged by tobacco by that grate and that grate is supposed to hold the tobacco above and allow you to smoke but at the same time allow you to draw air in at the bottom which is going to provide a smoother cleaner burning and less condensation according to the literature now this is in the category of what i you know sort of flippantly call uh, gimmick pipes. Uh, maybe they work, maybe they don't. You know, I kind of include these with stingers in general and, and, and well, filters to be honest, but I know people are going to get mad at me for that. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to dismiss them all because I have found at least that the LL Bean filter system with that sort of bent pipe cleaner inserted into it actually does work. You know, it actually does provide a nice cool dry smoke and that, that pipe cleaner gets loaded up with gunk. Uh, that otherwise would have sat in the, in the airway. So I, I find that to be a, a very interesting uh, system and therefore I'm more reluctant to just dismiss these things as gimmicks these days. Having said that, um, I've got my doubts. 
but Johnny will have to report to us on how this smokes once we get through with it. So how are we going to fix this? Well, the problem is, I believe, and I don't know this for a fact, but I believe this tube goes all the way through and forms the, the grate. I think this is all one piece. And if that's the case, it's going to be next to impossible to get out because I believe that that piece in there is actually pegged in place by that. And I don't want to go trying to pull that out and so on. I've worked on these in the past. This is, I believe, the third guardsman that I've restored. And I have tried without, you know, trying too hard to remove this because I'd like to clean below that grate. And I've never been able to successfully do it. In this case, I may try a bit harder because we've got one of two possibilities. So I happen to have a <laughs> piece off of an old Medico that uh, the bowl had burned out. So I just quickly snapped off the shank to save it because it has the same reverse tenon. And I thought, well, maybe someday this will come in handy. And sure enough, maybe this will come in handy. Uh, obviously, we'd need to do some modifications. It's not the same diameter in terms of the the shank but it is uh, what would be expected to be coming out from that pipe uh, if it were uh, not broken so I, I'm sure I can get this apart and getting this apart is going to tell me something about how this is set in place and if it's just simply an, an adhesive that I can heat up then I can try doing the same here and I'll pull a bit harder than I would have previously because I'm not worried about damaging this since this has got to go anyway. If that doesn't work, if it does turn out that this is one piece all the way through and I can't take it out, then this becomes a non-solution uh, non and we're going to have to move to this. So what I'm going to do is cut this off flush, take this piece of aluminum and actually machine an insert that will probably thread into place and of course we'll we'll thread it into place with some Loctite or something so it doesn't come out and basically create a new tenon off of this in aluminum uh, shaped according to this. So either way we're going to get this working. Beyond that uh, some challenges in terms of the cleanup you know cleaning up with that carburetor in there is going to be a bit of a challenge but we're just going to do what we would normally do. We'll ream the bowl, but we'll use just an edge reamer. We're not going to try to ream the bottom because we can't. Uh, we'll do the general cleanup both inside and outside. Um, get the stem taken care of. We might have to heat out some dents there and we'll see how we can do with that. And, you know, clean it up and put it all back together again. So, in essence, it's a fairly simple process except for this problem. And we'll just have to see how that all comes together. So I will, um, I'm going to try to, to make this a fairly complete video in terms of the, the steps and the detail and all that, um, the series. So as you go through this series in, in future videos, feel free to skip around and just, you know, watch what you think is, is worth watching. Because I'm going to have a lot of, like, you know, how I use pipe cleaners and stuff like that that you may not be interested in. But people have asked for more detail. So we'll give it a shot. Anyway, that's it for this video. We're going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this and you want to see this project progress, please uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can uh, find out when the next video posts. I'm thinking this is going to be maybe two or three additional videos to get it completely done. Uh, it just depends on how well this, this works out versus this. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.